hi. I have a special guest with me. Penelope is shopping with Mama today. It is Saturday morning. It is just 8 a.m. I've been up since 5.30. I don't know why. Um, but we're at Target. Little Chickadee told me that their seasonal section is becoming chock full with Easter items. So I'm so excited to see the Easter baskets, Easter fillers, all that good stuff. I'm almost certain I'm going to pick up a few things. So the video will mostly be a haul versus a shop through. I'm still going to show you the highlights. I'm still going to show you what's in there. We're going to grab some coffee. Penelope is super excited to shop with me. She's been pretty much up with me since early early this morning and I said hey girl let's hit the stores because it's Saturday morning and everybody's gonna be going crazy after 10 a.m. if we can do it early let's get it out of the way all right so let's see what they have for Easter let's see what they have that's new and then I'll show you guys a haul at my place all right let's go and shop all right well this is one of the items that we are looking for they have it so tree hut um, I absolutely love this brand I usually get the body scrub so they have a new foaming gel wash which I have been dying to try so they have the coco colada which is one we like and then um, i want to try the moroccan rose so super excited that i found these i'm going to get both scents and i will let you guys know how they smell they're also running a little bit of a deal so you get um, a free gift card a five dollar gift card if you buy four or more of personal care items uh, so we might be getting a gift card today because there's a few things i have my eye on they also have the new peach sorbet um, shea sugar scrub and then here they have the papaya paradise that looks amazing i also love how this particular target stocks their loofahs they have pretty good inventory and they have all these different colors it's almost like a loofah bar their beauty section in this target i dare say is probably the best that i've seen look at all the scents here they have all the beloved um coconut warm vanilla lotions and body sprays they also have the um little bars here um these look really nice Ooh, they smell really nice. And this scent here looks fantastic. This is the Cherry Blossom and Tea Rose. I do need a new um, detangling brush, um, like a wet brush for my shower so I can brush my hair in the shower. This one looks pretty nice. Um, it is a wet brush, but it says Go Green Curl Detangler. That looks like a great option. And then this one here has the hard bristles, but the soft bristles in between. My hair has been pretty tangly in the shower, so I figured um, something while it's wet and I'm conditioning it would be nice to start to get the knots out. Always on the market for new deodorant. This one is called Salt Air. It's the first time I'm seeing it. These are the different scents that they offer. I did smell the blue one and the pink one. They smell really, really nicely, so I might actually give it a try. Retail on these is $9.99, so not bad. Check out the mask bar. So many new items here. Um, Snow Leopard. These are based on animals. That's the lemur. Alligator, that one looks cool. Then they also have the foot masks. Ooh, this one looks nice. Juicy watermelon, juicy peach beach. And then this one here, ooh, I like pineapple. So this would be a nice one. Penelope is getting very happy because she's spotting all the new spring and summer shoes. Look how beautiful these little glittery babies are. Super cute. I love that color. Ooh, look at these metallic sandals. They actually have a pair of these at the Gap, which I'm sure are like triple the price than what you would find them here. Not sure how comfortable they are, but they look very cute. Um, here is kind of like a little faux croc. I kind of like that this one has a little back part here, so it'll keep it secure on your kid's feet. And these come in the purple and the pink. Oh my goodness, we may have to grab these. So I found some Easter Dash waffle makers, which we don't don't actually have yet um, so they have the bunny shaped one or you can just go ahead and get a regular Easter egg tough call um, I have seen the honeycomb bee one before um, but oh my gosh this actually makes a bunny shape I think we're gonna go for the bunny shape all right here it is happy Easter you know we always get um, the seasonal plates by the Spritz brand so I'm probably gonna grab this one here from Miss Penny it retails for three dollars this one here is the little chick that one also retails for three dollars here you have a little rainbow plate this is amazing for little appetizers and I feel like Max would enjoy using this one as well That's that part. and then they just have some regular ones here that say happy Easter and some that just have some uh, beautiful little spring designs there also have the placemats oh this one is cute here Penny look you need a new placemat so they also have the Easter ones. I always grab these for my kids seasonally. I might grab a couple of these. We do have some of the Spritz springtime blankets here. Um, they're technically called the throws. That one has a regular spring design. This one has the beautiful little bunnies on there. Um, and then this one here has the bunny with carrots. I will say they're $10, but I know that online right now, there's a 20% off coupon. Um, they might price match it in the store, but always look online to see if there is a deal. The golden eggs are back so glad that i found them because for some reason the ones i bought last year are missing so i'm going to go ahead and pick this one up and one more for mr max wow that's a beautiful gigantic one 
Well, this is amazing for $14.99. It is a favorite day beehive cookie house set. Look how beautiful those bees are. And then here they have an Easter egg sugar cookie decorating kit. This is amazing because you don't have to worry about baking it. The cookies are already, you know, baked for you. And then all you have to do is do your designs on them. This is something new. This is called the Smashable Egg Candy Kit. So I guess you put candy in there in a mold and then chocolate, put it in the fridge, make it nice and hard, and then you can smash it and all the treats are in the middle. $12.99 brings that home. Here is a chicken coop version of the cookie house kit. So you assemble a little coop with the little chicks there that are cookies. That's fantastic, $9.99 for that one. Oh, okay, so they have a smaller version of the sugar cookies. This one is called Decorated Easter Egg Sugar Cookie. It is a smaller box, so the price is lower than the bigger box that we saw, but this is still great. If you only have two kiddos, you don't want to make a lot of cookies, this is a great alternative. These are key lime flavored cookies by Favorite Day. They are gluten free. They're in the little Easter spring section, so I'm assuming these are a limited release. Ooh, what's this? Okay, so they're making some crazy trail mixes right now. This one is called Carrot Cake, Yogurt Flavored Coated Raisins, Glazed Walnuts, Carrot Cake Flavored Cookies, Coconut. Oh my God, okay, whatever, we're trying this. What's this one? This one is called Spring Clover and it has pastel sprinkles, coated peanuts, milk chocolate, peanut flavor cereal squares, peanut butter cups, white chocolate. <gasps> $4.49. All right, we're gonna just grab these two because why not? This one looks really, really good too. This one is called the Lemon Berry and it has berry flavored almonds, limoncello flavored almonds, lemon flavored. Okay, so there are mostly almonds that are yoga covered. We're gonna go for these guys. Oh, I love these guys. I love shooting my husband with these. This for sure would make an interesting little basket stuffer. It is um, called the Sticky Pig or Sticky the Pig. Um, it is very squishy and I think this is very sensory friendly. I almost wanna open it and play with it. Um, but yeah, I consider this for one of the kids' Easter baskets. This is adorable for an Easter basket stuffer. It is called Egg Hunt, um, and it's a little Nerf gun with the little bunny ears on there, and you can launch little pellets. That's uh, pretty cool. Easter Squishmallow stash, super cute. Don't need any more, but um, if there are Disney ones, I will get them. Here are all the little baskets for this year. Super cute, they have a shark one. Look how pretty that is. This is great for like an Easter egg hunt. Then they also have the little bunny version up there. They have the unicorn, Penny's favorite always. Um, I did see this in white as well. They also brought these back, the little plastic buckets. These are also great if you're gonna have an Easter egg hunt. I like the white with the unicorn. The green one is always fun. Have been seeing this one for a few years. And then this is a newer one here um, with the little rainbows and butterflies. This one retails for $3. Then they also have these guys up here, which are great. They're almost like those strawberry boxes, but this is great because you can repurpose them for many things. They are starting to fill in the candy. They have the Cadbury caramel eggs. Then they have these, these are newer, Hershey's egg with marshmallow. They also have, oh look, Penny Kit Kat, whoa. They also have an Easter version of Kit Kats there with little bunnies on it. They have the little Hershey bunnies here. Russell Stover marshmallow eggs. Oh my God, these are fantastic. I can literally eat the whole package. Not a good thing. More Easter baskets, more Easter baskets. Here's the one I've been using for Penny for a few years now. Um, these are back here with the little rainbow handles. Love those, I have a few of those at home. This is great here, it's like a little Easter bin. So if you're hosting a little party, maybe you can put some ice and some drinks in there. Love that piece for $10. They're bringing all the little squishy peep guys. I always love these guys so, so, so much. This is a newer one, it's kind of like a peep, but it's fuzzy. And then they also have the little ears here. This is cute for like a little Easter basket. These are $6, they have them in blue, they have them in the multicolor, and then they have them in pink. What do you feel? How do you feel about those, Penny? Would you wear those? Super cute. They have more of the hosting, decorating items. Um, these are amazing little bunny plates. This is a significant size plate. Like, look at it compared to my hand. This almost works like as a little platter. Then they also have this one here that says Happy Easter. I think I saw this last year. It's like a little rainbow stacker. That's also great for an Easter basket stuffer. Look at these little Easter trees here. You know we're gonna hit the button. Oh my God, they light up. That's super beautiful. Love that piece. Retails for $15. Oh my gosh, I'm not letting Penny see this because she's gonna want it, but it is a Peeps bunny princess. So it has a little pack of Peeps and then a little stuffed animal that has a little crown on it. That is super adorable. $7.99 brings that home. They are starting to merchandise some spring pajamas and look at these adorable little slippers. Um, the smallest size I'm seeing is a size small, which might be a little bit big for Penny, but these are amazingly adorable. Check these out. These are matching family pajamas in the floral print. Um, so they have them in kid sizes and then they also have them in women's sizes. 
Spotting some really neat finds in the dollar section, the Bullseye's Playground. This here is the gardening section. And um, I love it. They have like this little knee keeper, which is really, really nice. Then they have these little guys. I love these just as decor. Like I know that they're meant to water your plants, but super cute. And then look at this guy. It is a little honey bear and he has a little comb in there. That's gonna hold a lot of honey. I think this is more of a decor piece, but I love it and I think I'm gonna bring it home. Here are some more beautiful spring pieces, these little baskets. Like if you're gonna make a small basket or like an Easter basket for, you know, like a niece or nephew, these are amazing. They're $3 a piece and I can think of tons of stuff to store in here. I love that they come in the green, they come in the white and they come in this beautiful clay color here. And they also have these beautiful carrots. They have these beautiful platters here, very spring slash Easter inspired. I think we've seen these eggs before. They retail for $5. And I keep seeing the wooden bunny. I'm so tempted. I might grab them this time. All right, friends, welcome to the haul portion of the video. I did not have a chance to shoot it yesterday, but that's okay because we are going to shoot it now. They were just starting to stock all the um, Easter stuff in the seasonal section. So I didn't want to bombard the workers because they were like stocking the shelves and I was kind of like, can I grab that? Can I see that? So I shot around it. I shot what I could. And I'm glad that I was there when they were actually stocking stuff because that's when everything sells out, right? So I was glad that I went when I went because I was able to find some limited items that I'm sure are going to sell out within a day and then they're not going to be able to restock them. Speaking of limited items, limited Squishmallows, like we're obsessed with them right now. It's so much fun. Like finding the Squishmallows that are the most valuable, are the most rare, um, that have higher resale value if you ever decide to flip them. So I found a couple of Easter Squishmallows, not just one, not just two, but three. So I was able to find some of the Squishmallows that are limited and rare for Easter. I didn't have any luck for the Valentine's Day collection. They had the Mickey Mouse or Disney collection um, in the small version. And every time I went, they were sold out, the box was empty. So. I didn't snag any of those, but because I went on the first day that they were setting up the Easter collection, I managed to grab the Hello Kitty. You can see by the tag there that they are in fact Squishmallows. So this one is Hello Kitty, obviously, in her little pink cute spring getup. And then here you have my Melody. There's her little tag so you can see. They did have another design, but I figured two was enough for Penelope's Easter basket. Um, so these are the ones that I grabbed from Hello Kitty. And then of course, if they're gonna do a limited edition run of anything Disney, Toy Story or not, we had to grab it. So this is the little alien from Toy Story. It's kind of like a mashup. He is in his Easter attire. There's the tag there. So you can see it does say alien and Squishmallow. He is super adorable. I love that it's the alien and it has a little rabbit ears. This is also gonna go in Penelope's Easter basket. It might actually go in Max's. We'll see, cause she technically already has two. Max isn't really as into Squishmallows as Penelope is, but I figured one of the kids has to get it, right? Right, moving along with the Easter stuff, I may have gotten too many Easter baskets, but that's okay because I am planning on having an Easter event in my house and we're gonna do the Easter egg hunt. So I'll have plenty of baskets for the kids kids or people to use as their Easter egg hunting. So I've never seen the little chickadee chickens before. I love that they're this red orange color. Target always has the bunnies and the rainbows and the dinosaurs. I've never actually seen the little chickens. So of course I had to grab these. They have the little handles, which are amazing. They are by the Spritz brand. There is the tag. And I believe these retail for $10 a piece. I know a little bit pricey, but how could I pass them up? Then I also did grab the Easter Bunny. Now Penelope has two of these from last year. However, big difference, they don't have the little um, carrying handle. So I kind of like this because I figured when the kids do their Easter egg hunt, she can use this basket. This also retailed for $10. I know, please don't judge me. I know, I know, does she need another basket? But it's a unicorn and it has the handle. If she doesn't use it, another kid will use it, I'm pretty sure, but they were just too cute to pass up. This plastic egg I bought last year, it is one gigantic plastic egg with a bunch of little ones. I used these last year for the Easter egg hunt and they were fantastic. I can't believe the price, $6. I think I still have the container of this in storage, but obviously all the eggs went with whoever did the Easter egg hunt. So I had to get a new one. I mean, at $6 a pop, I almost should have gotten two and actually next time I go, I'm gonna pick up another one because for $6 and you get this many eggs, I think it's totally worth it. All right, if you guys remember from last year's Easter video, I purchased these and they're gone. They're not in my basement. I don't know if I gave them away. Maybe I gave them to somebody on Easter. I don't I don't recall, but they're, they're not downstairs. So I was glad to see that they are back. I love to put candy and goodies in here. My kids love the golden egg idea. Um, so these retail for $8 a piece. There is a slightly smaller one. 
and then there's a slightly larger one that retailed for $15. This metal size is good enough for what we need. They're so beautiful. Golden egg is supposed to be like the lucky egg, so I figured both my kids should get one, and I love filling these with treats. Again, the kids love them. I always get the seasonal play set Target. This season was no exception. Uh, this one was super adorable, and Penny absolutely loved it. She saw it when we were in store. This uh, retailed for $3, and then I also got the rainbow one here for Max. I might actually use these to put in their Easter baskets as little treats because they love these plates and it's just so much fun for them to have characters you know on their plates while they eat. Um, I think Max will really enjoy the rainbow and this one almost works like as a cute little snack plate. Oh my gosh guys I found the Dash waffle maker that is the Easter Bunny. I can't believe they actually had this this year and I was just saying they should make an Easter Bunny one. I don't think I've ever seen this one. They did also have the Easter egg shape which was super fun because I feel like you can decorate your waffles um, because they have the little indentations like Easter egg decorations but the bunny's a character my kids are gonna love the bunny they love waffles so I figured let's go with the bunny this one retailed for $9.99 all right this is my favorite dollar spot find that I've found in a really long time it is a little honey bear and it's gigantic I don't know how much honey you can actually put in here it seems like a lot uh, most honey containers or I don't know they'll probably go like halfway but this is super beautiful for like kitchen decor I don't think I'm gonna put honey in here because I feel like it's gonna get sticky and ruin it but it is technically a honey bear all right, so I left the carrot cake ones behind because I said, let's be good because I'm actually doing Weight Watchers and I'm not really supposed to eat stuff like this. This is kind of like a once a week, maybe two times a week treat. However, this spring clover mix, how delicious does this one look? It's just amazing. You have pastel sprinkles, coated peanuts, milk chocolate, peanut flavor cereal squares, mini peanut butter cups, white chocolate cereal, and roasted salted peanuts. A little more than four dollars totally worth it delicious springtime trail mix we're gonna enjoy every bite penelope penelope and her marshmallows she would not let the bag go i couldn't pry it from her little cold hands um this is uh jet puffed bunny marshmallows and they come in different colors i thought this was a great little springtime mix and honestly i'm not going to deprive her of the marshmallows the kids can have a treat right every once in a while so i love that you got bunnies in here in purple green pink all the fun colors something like this would even look cute in the little honey bear right for decor the last two items by the spritz brand and last two easter items i did get them new placemats i get them these seasonal they're so inexpensive and honestly guys these things aren't like built to last like they're not gonna last you a whole year but maybe have them for like six months and then you know they start to rip and then you kind of replace them so it's fun to get them seasonally this one has the Easter bunnies and the little springtime flowers on there the kids are gonna love it all right on to the self-care and beauty stuff we're done with the Easter I was so excited to find these my girls out there that use tree hut products you know those little scrubs that we love and I've been buying them for years I have literally every scent they're making a clean cleansing gel now like a body cleansing gel and these smell amazing they came highly recommended everybody's going bonkers for them they also had the watermelon scent which i think i'm going to purchase come spring summer uh, but for now i got the moroccan rose super delicious and then of course because you guys know i love everything coconut everything tropical if it smells like suntan lotion i love it um this one is the coco colada foaming gel wash and it looks like that and this one is probably my favorite but I'm so excited to use both of them and I'm probably gonna buy more. Tropical Glow and like Coco Colada mixed together, they remind me a little bit of the um, Sol de Janeiro, like the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I love that stuff. It's very expensive, but it's amazing. So I got one more of this Tropic Glow. This is the Scrub. Um, which I love to use, get all that dead skin off, especially in the winter time. I did also pick up this wet brush. It's called the Go Green Curl Detangler. I do need a brush for the shower. I was thinking about picking up a wide tooth comb. I actually saw one on Amazon that I'm gonna order, um, but I do need something for the shower that's gonna get my knots out while my hair is wet and I'm conditioning it. This one looks so cool, almost looks like a flower. So I'm excited to use this. I didn't read any reviews on this brush, but I'm hoping it's a wet brush. Hopefully it works well, uh, but I was excited that it's, you know green and earth friendly and it's such a pretty design and it's pink so why not brand new deodorant by salt air i have not used this brand yet i'm excited to try it i love trying new deodorants i usually stick to dove but you know dove isn't the best unless you get the zero percent aluminum which actually doesn't work great for me so i'm still on the market still trying different deodorants this scent is called pink beach they had a few different scents they were all really nice this one stuck out to me the most want to smell it again and it has like a powdery smell i'm excited to use this if i do enjoy this one i will buy all the different scents because they were all amazing i was not i did not want to discriminate because they all smelled so so good okay as you guys can see i did buy a good amount of clothing for the kids however 
I don't think I'm going to show you everything because I am going to do a spring summer clothing haul for the kids. This is my third year on YouTube, actually. Um, it's going to be my third spring, and I always do the spring summer clothing haul for the kiddos, and you guys love that video, so I'm not going to spoil it now because if I show you everything now, then what am I going to show you in that video, right? However, I will show you the little hair ties Penelope picked out. These are by the Skunchi, Skunchi brand. Um, we need some new hair ties. These are a little bit bigger than the ones that she has currently. Her hair is getting longer. Um, she picked out this color combination, so we went with that. These are so adorable. Don't they look like fashion sandals? Um, they're very foamy and cushiony, so I feel like these are going to be comfortable. And the strap here, it's actually pretty soft. It's not like it's going to cut in. They almost feel like a rubber, but a neoprene at the same time which is pretty interesting it's an interesting texture but they are neon yellow um, they're a size 10 so I'm hoping they're gonna fit her when we take our next you know summer vacation trip and she loved them she wanted to leave them on her feet so I decided to get them hopefully they come in like a hot pink because if they do I would totally grab them these are by the brand cat and jack and they retailed for $15 and there was a 20% on kids uh, shoes so we were able to get a deal on them all right, friends, that is everything in my Target haul. I hope you had some fun shopping with us a little bit and hauling with us for a little bit. If you haven't subscribed, hit that red subscribe button, like this video. I'm so excited for all the questions that you guys have submitted for the Q&A. I'm actually in the process of shooting that one. Hopefully that video will be out this week and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.